Es ist Sparta! Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight we are with a Flying Swive and Marine Sniper. And you're going to see them quite a bit this week because I got a, a few good matches with them over the weekend. So, in this first clip, I'm not going to do amazing as far as damage. But there are some pretty funny moments in this, so get ready for at least a good chuckle. And it's a double feature video, which means we've got two videos in this one. So I make up for not being really a great video for uh, damage in the first match. And we get a decent match in the second match. So, right off the bat, we're on Great Wall. And where do I go? I go to the same place I always go, which is pretty much right here. And I turn back to attack the center of the map. reason I do this, pretty simple. That's where most of the bad guys go. What is it with every time I start recording, I start yawning? I don't get it. I'm not even tired. I'm just straight up yawning every time I start recording. So I'm looking ahead, and you'll see Marine Snipers head in that direction real soon. Uh, Flying Swipe, he's in the 212A right in front of me. So uh, we should, as a team, be able to do some damage here. Come on, give it to me. Somebody's gonna be there. Cause they're always there. And hello everybody. Is there anybody ahead of Josh? I mean Marine Sniper. Sorry. And shot out on the Wizzy. Oh, just overshot him. Unfortunate. But it happens. Not gonna hit every shot. But if I would have hit that, I'd have been happy. Because that would have been one one less light tank to worry about. Now, while we're all fighting here, I'm not going to lie. We uh, are going to eventually allow a medium tank to get right up to us, I believe. Maybe not. This might not be the match I'm thinking of. We'll find out. It, it may be, it may not be. But I'm fairly confident if it is, there's a medium tank comes running towards us. And you can see I'm getting a little antsy. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so what it is is the right side completely failed, so I decide to move out left. And I call out one thing. I said, I think I'm running right towards other tanks because nobody went up on the hill on the left. So I could potentially be running right into an ambush. And three, two... One. Come on. Where's he at? And. Oops. Oh, crap. Hard right, hard right. <laughs> Get out of there. Get out of there, Spartan. Oh, I'm in trouble. And I'm like, Sniper, can you get over here? I'm going to need your help. <laughs> He's like, I'm on my way, Spartan. Don't worry. I'm like, good. And as you see, uh, Marine Sniper, or not Marine Sniper, but uh, Flying Swive is hanging back a little ways. And uh, I'm going to look down range, see if I can't hit this uh, little Waffentrager Panzer IV. I can't. So, uh, unfortunately, we're just going to have to let that lie. Now, at about this time, I noticed on the map that the heavy tank did push down. He is right behind me. So get ready for some fun. Oh, crap. And Sniper's like, Spartan, he's coming up behind us. Can you hit him? And pow. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, yes I can. Nothing like getting your first shot of the day of a snapshot that, you know, most of the time you probably miss, but occasionally you get lucky. Is it better to be good or lucky? Sometimes it's better to be lucky. Now, Marine Sniper's going up over the hill and I'm gonna follow him. He's like, man, this power to weight ratio sucks. And I'm like, yeah, I'll push you if I get there. And I start pushing up the hill, pushing up the hill, and then I get sidetracked. I mean, not like I would ever get sidetracked, right? Oh, nope. Hey, look, an Object 704. All right, Sniper. You distract him, and when you got his attention, I'm going to pull up and shoot him. That's what I tell him. And <laughs> not going to lie, Sniper kind of goes a little uh, crazy on me here. You lost an ally. 
All right, so he gets one shot into the 704. 704 pulls up. Come on. Come on. He gets a second shot in, and he's like, no, 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 Spartan, don't do it, don't do it. He's looking right at you. Yeah, I'm looking at him, too. <laughs> Two shotguns in one match. Not bad. Not bad at all. Now, there are three tanks left. They're in a platoon, and they're defending their base with everything they got. So, this is perfect for artillery. Now, Flying Swive hasn't moved up, so I'm not sure exactly where he can hit, but uh, we're going to have some fun here. He should be able to drop some rounds in there. I think he does on the uh, IS-7 or 4. can't remember. IS-7's out in the open. is is closer to the mountain. So IS-7 it is. And I thought he was going to keep pulling up. I shot in front of him. All I get is a track. You know, not preferable. And, you know, that's just part of, uh, you know, what makes artillery fun. Uh, if you're not 100% perfect all the time you're only going to hit like a third of the time. <laughs> Even when you're perfect, you're probably only going to hit 40% of the time. Shot out. There we get a good hit. 542. Uh, Swive's shot comes in and only splashes them for like 18. And you can see uh, this distance and the fact that I'm higher than him is giving me a pretty small reticle, which means I should be able to hit him with some consistency. Should. But it is World of Tanks, after all. And it's an 8-inch howitzer shot out. Really? <laughs> really? Okay. You know, it is what it is. And then Swive gets a good one. Sets him on fire. He's got le less than ideal amount of damage for me to hit. So I'm like, eh, Swive will probably kill him before I do. Shot out on the IS-4, and we get a good hit. It looked like about 646 and an ammo rack. Reloading, we got about 10 seconds left. Still three of them, oh, never mind, there's only two of them left. They've got guys flanking on both sides of them. IS-7's still alive, but not for long. IS-4 is there, shot out. 331 and a track and the patent which is marine sniper puts it one in him we get a couple easy assisted pins there and the game is over so we end up with five hits eight assisted hits two kills not bad 2500 damage 1700 assisted two kills that's not a bad game but it was fun because i got to shotgun a couple people all right so moving on to the next match we are in overlord And we are still in the M55 tornado. We spawned in the south, which means you guys know exactly where I'm heading. No secret. Used to be a secret, but now it's not. Everybody pretty much knows exactly where I'm heading. And I'll try not to have to, like, fall off a cliff this time and get myself killed. We've it's got not preferable. Take them out or capture their it's hard base. to do damage Let's when go. you're dead. Pro tip right there, you know. Just in case anybody knows not that I'm a pro or anything, but that is a pro tip. If you're dead, you can't do any more damage. Pretty obvious. <laughs> Alright, so as we uh, get to our spot... <laughs> there's a lot of people that don't know this spot exists. And I've had it in several videos now. But this spot is so good, because you're covered in camo. Uh, so they have to get relatively close to detect you. Unless, of course, you fire your 8-inch howitzer while they happen to be looking your direction. In which case, they can see you further away. Now, right off the bat, I'm looking towards the right, and I think it is uh, Flying Swive in the Waffentrager Alfie 100. And, you know, the last thing you want to be is on a wide open map where everybody can see you and tear you apart. And T-49 is getting shot out. Fire! Oh, come on, tree. Really? Oh, I forgot about that, the tree. That was perfectly timed, too. That would have probably killed him. I'm going to say probably. Because, I mean, with the mercy rolls nowadays, you never know. E100 is begging for it. Just parking himself right out there, making himself a big target. And... Shot out. 
530 right into the front, and he's tracked. Is anybody going to shoot him? Doesn't seem to. Now he's fixed his track, he's backing around the corner. Probably for the best for him, because he sits there too long. I will absolutely ruin his day. So, where are we at? Okay, T-49 coming in for another run. And he shoots our guy in the back for 400 damage. And he scoots off. It's called a shoot and scoot, folks. And they are nasty. It's really fun, though, when you pop up behind somebody and shoot them for a thousand with a light tank. Okay, E-100's begging for it again. Shot out. And it falls so far short it isn't even funny. Somebody get on my loader. I think he forgot to put the charge in there to send it down range. This thing can fire like 26 miles. The last thing it needs is to miss a shot from 500 meters. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Come on, come on. Oh, there he is again. Shot out. Really? The Rock? Come on. Dwayne Johnson, you better get out of my way. I'm ready to smack this E-100. And it's about this time that I notice that people are starting to come out of the middle, which aren't preferable. And of course, now we have a Jag E-100. Face-hugging an E-100, I shoot. And I hit the Jag and the Rock, so no more shooting at the E-100. I'm wasting too much time. And you can see Marine Sniper took the beach, and he's sneaking up behind everybody. He's already killed their artillery, which is preferable. Focus attention here. And as much as I want to shoot this E-100, I just don't know. Oh, look at these guys coming in the backside. Shot out. Fire. Pow! 798 caught him on the run. Backside to an 8-inch howitzer. That's a paddling, folks. You know? And that was an on-the-move clutch shot paddling. Look at this E-100 and this T-62 bullying our Jag. Jag puts a shot into him, kills him, and this T-62 is going to beat up our Jag. Now, this T-110E-5 is coming in, and shot out. And we just missed him. It landed. It went through his tank and landed on the other side of him. How does that work? Because I, I find it hard to believe that it could have landed there and not hit him from this angle. But, you know, it happens. Is he gonna stay? Come on, just stay there. Oh, won't you stay just a little bit longer? Little Shout out. Pow. That's, another kill for our team. <laughs> That's all I need. Just stay. Uh, I've got a song for everything, folks. All right, so what do we got? We've got lots of tank destroyers, two heavies, and we are tied up, folks. It's anybody's ball game. Which means, this is where the tornado comes into his own. What can I do to help tip the balance? We have an arty, they don't. Which means they have the hit point advantage, most likely. But, we've got the eyes in the sky. That guy's dead. No chance for me to do anything there. Um, hello T-10. How you doing? And... Come on, get predictable. Shout out! Pow! 697, we mercy roll him, leave him with next to nothing. It's unfortunate, but he is a one-shot kill. I mean, I did just hit him in the back. Like, that should have killed him, left him with 137. But, it happens. Now, we are left with two E3s, and what looked like a Waffentrager and a Death Star. Something like that, very close to that. Now, we have... Four tanks looking for these guys. I say four because the other one's a tank destroyer down at J3 for some reason. Not exactly sure what's going on down there. But I take a shot out on the E3. I hit him for 800. He's not feeling it very... Or he's, he's not feeling very happy right about now. Now, Marine Sniper's moving up on the backside. Another E3 is coming towards him. And unfortunately, before I get loaded... This E3 is going to get behind the concrete. So, instead, I take the shot at the Waffentrager. Shot out. And cool guys don't look at explosions. <laughs> Alright. So, E3. Come on. We got three tanks left, and you're one of them, and you are right in the one place that I can't touch. Either by design or not so much. 
that was a good move by you. Okay. J okay, one. Oh, come on, come on. Get loaded, get loaded, get loaded. Shot out. And they kill him. Really? Thanks, Marine. Appreciate it. <laughs> He's like, can you hit this guy? I'm like, negative. Unless he comes out, I can't touch him. Can you get him to come out? Oh, is he going to back up? I'm already aimed in. Come on. And then he tracks him. <laughs> really? Oh, well, just go ahead and melt him. You deserved it. And... Pow. 366. So we ended up with eight hits that time. Three kills. Not bad. Managed to help tip it back into the, the green guy's favor. And what do we end up with? 3,500 damage, three kills, not bad. Second on the leaderboard to Marine Sniper himself. Flying Swive, unfortunately, he had the, the bad end of the, the deal at the early part of the game. So if you like what I'm doing, punch that like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.